In this video, I'll create two different loops that both flash a heart on the screen four times. The first loop will be triggered by pressing the A button, and it will be a for loop, which is right here. And then the second loop will be triggered by pressing the B button, and it will be a while loop. Note that make code also has a repeat so many times loop. And this is the same thing as a for loop. It's just an easier version of it. So let's get this written. I don't need either one of these blocks, so I'm just going to drag them to the trash. Next, I'll go into input and pull out an on button press block. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and set the second one to B. Next, I'll drag out the loops I need. So I'm going to go back into loops and select the for loop and then I'll drag that inside of the on button A pressed block. Now I'll go back into loops again and grab the while loop and drag that into the on button B pressed block. Now I'll set up the flashing heart. So I'm going to go into basic and drag out a show icon and I'll duplicate that and put one in this block or in this loop. And they're already set at heart so we'll just leave that. Now, the next thing I want to do is put in the clear screen. I'm going to go ahead and put this in, but we'll test one of them and I'll show you why we want to put in a pause. So let's duplicate that, place it in here, and we'll go ahead and do the, we'll test this one. It's already set to something. So I'll click on the A button and you can't really see anything happen because it's happening so quickly. So I'll go back into basic and drag out a pause. And then I want to put two of these in here, one below the show icon and then another one below the clear screen. And I just duplicate both of those. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'll duplicate it, drag it under the show icon and then and then place another one under the clear screen. Now let's go ahead and look at this for loop. This isn't set up like a, a for loop would be. It's set up really for beginning coding. So it, it doesn't have all the features. It doesn't allow you to do any of the logic comparisons that are normally available in a programming language. And this is always set to less than or equal. The two is really just means less than or equal. It also starts counting at zero. Now we know we want this to flash four times, and if we go from zero to four, that's going to be five times. So I'm going to change this to a three. Now let's test it. One, two. There we go. It flashed four times. Now we'll look at the while loop. What we want to do is go ahead and put in one of those logical comparisons. So I'm going to go back into logic and drag one of those out. And now this doesn't automatically increment the same way this does. So we have to set up a variable that increments. So I'm going to go into variables and press make a variable. And then I'm going to create a variable called count. Now, what we're going to have to do is initialize count every time we go into the on button B pressed block. So to do that, I'm going to click on set count to zero and drag that into the on button B press block above the while. And then I'm going to change this value to one. Next, I'm going to set this logical comparison up and I want to put a count variable in there. So I'm going to go into variables, pull out count, and that's going to use the value that's in count to compare it to something here. And we're going to make that a four. Now we want to make this a less than or equal. And then finally, we have to increment count every time we go through the loop. So I want to go back into variables, select change count by, and I can put it anywhere in here. So it doesn't really matter where you increment it. You just have to do it within the loop. And we want to increment it by one each time. So now that's set up. So now let's test it. I'm going to go over here and click on B. And there it flashed four times. So that's it for this one. Let me know in the comments section which loop you prefer and why. Um, I'd be interested to see what people think. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.